Hello everyone. A very good evening to all of you. Myself, Prashatha Rao. I'm from Sales and Marketing team. With me, there is Mr. Pat, who is a part of our support team. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for taking the time out for being part of this webinar. My goal today is to provide you with some basic information about our product and along with that, how a network monitoring tool can help your business in a positive way. Firstly, I'd also like to bring this to your notice, but you must have probably already noticed that you all are in mute mode. But, well, that is just to avoid disturbance. If you have any questions, any queries, please feel free to ask. So you can ask the questions through the chat box, uh, which is usually on the right hand side of GoToWebinar panel. We'll be recording this session and uh, the recording and the presentation of this particular webinar will be shared with you through email and will be updated on our YouTube channel as well. Well, I still see a lot of participants are still joining us. In case if you missed out on anything, don't worry, it will get covered. So, well, let's get started. I will try to keep this session as live as possible for you. Uh, but before that, we we'll have to go through a couple of slides. So the title of our webinar today is Why Your Business Needs a Unified Approach for Network Monitoring. Well, I'd like to leave this question to you. I hope right after this session, you'll be able to answer it yourself. So the agenda for today's webinar. We'll be going ahead with the business benefits, how a unified network monitoring tool can help your business. We'll be covering network monitoring, flow management, log management, and how Monadata integrates with third-party applications. So right after the demo and presentation, we'll be covering all the questions that you have. Presenter for today's session is myself, Vishakha and Mr. Park. So to begin with, I'd like to give you a brief introduction. So our company was founded in the year 2010. Since past seven years, we have introduced two products, that is Minder and Motadata. The current version that is running right now is Motadata 6.9. Uh, Motadata has gone through three different versions. So this is the latest one. Our customers include Adani, Crystal, Edit Core, Starlight Tech, and many more. So the main topic of today's webinar, the business benefits of a unified monitoring tool. Enterprises today of any size, be it small, medium, or large, they all are a subject to random downtime and performance degradation that have a tremendous impact on the quality of the end user experience in the workspace. But to facilitate smoother operation of complex IT architectures, companies need a comprehensive network monitoring solution that can ensure that everything stays in balance along with optimal functionality. Well, a network monitoring solution not only helps you save time and resources, but it will also help you reduce the data center overhead and it will also ensure the availability of your network at all times. So now I'll cover the first topic that is optimized performance. As IT infrastructures become widely dispersed, so fulfilling SLA requirements becomes a challenge. So the constantly growing need to support more and more operations is making it mandatory to employ in a network monitoring management software which can proactively analyze your performance issues in real time. The second point, that is improved asset utilization. Increasing number of wireless devices has made it really difficult to handle IP-enabled endpoints in your BYOT environment. This makes it imperative for 
any IT admin to keep constant tabs on what is connected to their infrastructure and also to check if the existing framework is fully equipped to handle the fluctuations that is caused by their mobile devices. So, the third most important point that is successfully implement new technology. A good network performance monitoring tool makes it easy to identify, troubleshoot, and resolve problems before they can actually affect your critical business processes. It facilitates timely planning of vital maintenance, windows, and bandwidth allocation for improved quality of service. So definitely with the help of a network monitoring tool, you can stay ahead of your outages. But what actually causes IT outages? It might be a human error. It might be because of um, configuration issues. And uh, environmental factors can also contribute. So implementing a network monitoring tool is one of the basic and the most simplest ways to prevent these outages from happening in the first place itself. So network monitoring gives you the visibility that you actually need to stay one step ahead of potential issues. By showing you live network performance data in an easy to read interface, network monitoring software helps you identify outages that can cause bottlenecks. So I'm sure you must have got the idea that using a network monitoring tool will help you fix issues faster. So in a down situation, time is money. So obviously it's the most beneficial way. You can gain immediate return on investment because uh, if uh, any IT team member has joined us, uh, so they must be aware of the fact that they are always, they may be able to relate it, that they are uh, heavily loaded with work and they have to deal with increasingly complex projects, often without ideal time, staff, or um, budget needed to complete them. The right network monitoring tool can deliver immediate ROI without the need to manually dig into performance and staff have time back in the day to work on more important metrics that matter the most. So, what's the current scenario right now? Existing ID tools lack holistic visibility. If we talk about any monitoring tool in the market, so they have different monitor, uh, they have different modules for different features. So be it network monitoring, server monitoring, database monitoring, cloud monitoring, security, or log management. Let's say if you want to go ahead and you want to have NMS and log management, you will have to purchase two different uh, modules of that particular tool, which will eventually add on to the cost. That is, it will lead to higher CPO. So since the information is scattered, you will have limited visibility over your complete infrastructure. You do not have an eagle eye view. So you will not be able to correlate between your different metrics. So because of one metric, let's say, what's affecting the other nodes? Because everything is interconnected in your network. So since you do not have a holistic visibility, it will lead to information silos. And of course, multiple tools are difficult to manage. So now I'd like to introduce our product that is Moda Data. Motor Data is the only IT analytics platform that is designed for speed at scale with context. We, what our customers really like about us is that our product is really affordable, it's pocket friendly. So, and we have analyzed one plus billion events in less than 10 seconds on a single server. We do not compress your roll of data and there is no actual limit on your data retention. So what is correlation exactly? So since in our platform there are three things in one single tool, that is metrics, flow, and log data. So you will be able to correlate your important metrics and you can also focus on what matters the most rather than you know getting sidetracked by the symptoms. So if you look at your network metrics in context of you know other applications or loads or you can analyze the log pattern. 
So with the help of that, we can find out the severe usage trend or something, some repetitive problem if that's happening, we will be able to find out that. Motor data can integrate with third party applications like I mentioned earlier. So which include Slack, Apache, Oracle, Active Directory, Hyper-V, Cisco, Cyberroom, and much more. It has seamless integration with your third party applications. Motor data's power pack analytics. So what we do is we collect your metrics and log data. We discover it, we collect it through our passwords. We will monitor it and manage it for you. You can track the performances, how things are going in your network. So later on, with the help of Motor Data, since uh, customizable uh, dashboards and widgets, you will be able to visualize your data. With the help of Motor Data, Apache Leucine technology, which we have implemented in search, you can search the things that matter the most at the moment. You can visualize, correlate, and investigate the issue. So in the end, once you have correlated and investigated the issues and the bottleneck, you can, of course, you can solve the, resolve the issue. So like I mentioned earlier, Motorata is one platform for all your events, be it network monitoring, log management, or flow analytics, be it anything. It has everything in one single platform. So you can go proactive, take corrective actions before it takes on your environment and it costs you. Well, moving ahead with log management. In Motor Data, what we do is we keep all your log data in a centralized repository. So what happens is, since it's in a single repository in a centralized location, you will be able to correlate your log with the help of predefined rules. You can also find patterns in the collected log. We can collect the logs, we can correlate the logs from any device, any server, any application. And we also support agent based and agent less log forwarding. So, with the help of Motor Data Log Management, you can achieve complete compliance reporting and meet your SLA requirements. In Motor Data's monitoring, we support native protocols. So you can gather the data from your network devices through SNMP protocol for in case of your databases like MySQL, MSSQL, or Oracle, you can gather the data through JDBC. Or um, let's say in case of Active Directory and Windows, you can gather it through PowerShell. So we support multi-vendor devices and applications. Like I mentioned earlier again, Motor Data is all events, it's about all events and one platform. You get everything in one single dashboard. So you can visualize and monitor the things that matter the most at the moment. And Motor Data has a feature called Root Cause Analysis. With the help of that, you can troubleshoot faster. And you can get the context of the issue, like what is the detailed information of the uh, issue, so that you, know, you can fix the issue faster. You can correlate the data. So with the help of correlation, you will be able to find out the hidden insights. And of course, you can integrate with for a party application. Flow analytics. Well, all of us have this, have this doubt that you know what is slowing my network down? So who is consuming the most bandwidth? Who is the bandwidth bandit in my organization? We always, you know, want to find out if we are too late. So if why are there seven sites in my network? So to find out all of that, flow analytics is the answer to all those questions. You can capture all the conversations. You can also find out what is the bandwidth used per user. You can also find out in the MBPS, you can find out you can you'll get exact metrics. And you can get deep insights into your bandwidth usage. You'll get unified visibility from your end-to-end -end user. Of course, you can detect applications with higher bandwidth usage. So this will help you optimize your network performance. So well, Motor Data is all about 360 degree visibility over the 
IT infrastructure because nothing is worse than getting a call that the network is down. Too often, IT lacks the visibility they need to get ahead of performance issues, which means you're in the dark until a user or customer calls to complain. Once an outage happens, the clock is ticking. And the longer it takes to resolve, uh, the more it costs you. Well, it might cost you in terms of time or in terms of loss of productivity or end user satisfaction. The routers, switches, virtual servers, wireless devices, and applications of all kinds need 24-7 network monitoring. Keeping tab on all your critical network technology means that you can spot and fix issues faster before they get worse. The Mota data covers network monitoring, database monitoring, virtualization, URL, cloud, server, log, network flow, services, container, everything. So in all, you get 360 degree visibility over your complete IT infrastructure. So now Mr. Pass from our support team, he will be demonstrating Mota data live and now I'd like to hand over to him. Pass, could you please? All right, sure. Uh, thank you, Vishakha, for giving us overview and on, for all the features of Mota data. Now, I'll be taking uh, this demo on our live cloud environment. First of all, I would like to thank you all of you for giving us opportunity. My name is Parth Chandarana. I am from, I'm part of Motorator team as a network and support administrator. I'm very keen to present, present Motorator, how it can value your business. So, first question comes to your mind, why Motorator should be used for analyzing this machine data? Because no matter what business you are running, your organization is generating massive amount of data which has a lot of values. The motor data can process this machine data and get the valuable insights out of it. Now, I'll just take you to one of my server which, have, uh, which is being in production right now. So this is a Windows server where I am hosting my domain. You can see all of the details related to this server just like the IP address, the system name, it could be the processor and the OS pack version, everything. And you can also see the uptime as well. You can see the today's availability. If the server goes down, you will directly get an email or SMS action on the top of that. And you can also see all of the metrics which matters to run the server, just like the CPU, disk, and memory. But not only the CPU memory and disk is being monitored, you can also identify in a deep level if your CPU goes high, you can identify like what what is the part is taking your CPU on a higher level. It could be the context for switches, interrupts per second, running processes, and the thread. Also, if you want to see like which process is taking over your CPU, so if you just see, Motorata can seamlessly monitor all the processes and give you like top five processes by the CPU. So I'm able to identify which all processes are taking over the CPU and which are all the processes taking over the memory as well. Apart from this, there is also like service monitoring. So all of the service which hosts uh, your application, it could be your production application. So if any of the service goes down or anyone from your team or other team has taken the service down, you can directly get an alert on that and you can get a report out of it. Also, if you see there are different colors you, can, you are able to see on the screen right now, which is like red, then orange, green. So all of the colors that indicate the severity of all the parameters that you have set or it could, it could be all the thresholds that you have set on different parameters. So this red color indicates for the critical event happen on the server. And uh, this orange color presents the warning alerts on your server. If you wanted to identify like currently what is in a warning state going right now, so you can see like network output QLAN has increased. And if, if you click on the red button, you'll be able to identify what all four uh, alerts have been triggered so far as it could be critical for you. So you can identify this 
all of the problems going on on, on your server so easily. Now if you see that there is one more button which is like showing in a critical right now, this button we call as an RCA button. It gives you the root cause analysis. So these are all the components which I have set alert on it. So if you see the, some of the components are in a green color, so that means they are in a good state right now. But if you see some of the components are in different colors, that's like a red color or it could be the orange color. So if you just click on it, once you click on it, it will just take you to the drill down. And if you see in a disk, in one of the disks, which is UDTV, the disk you then have got increased with value 4. So this could be the critical event for me. So getting the getting the problem identified automatically happen on Mota data so that you don't have to waste your time to identify the problem. Mota data can seamlessly seamlessly tell you like what is problem going on on your server. Also, if you see all of the monitoring alerts side by side, that's like these are all the parameters which I have set alert on it. And I can see this is the last 24 hour of health trend of each and every alert. So I can see this particular switches switches per second, it is going in a critical state since uh, last 24 hours. I can just click on it and I can find out all the alerts happening. I can also understand what are what could be the correlated metrics to this alert. So I can see like running processes are 96 right now and there are 53 threads are running. This can cause switches per second on a higher level, which is value right now is 721261. So this is how you can easily correlate with all of the alerts happening on your server. So this is one example of the Windows Server. It works in the, it's in the same way with the Linux Server and all other servers. Also, I would like to give you one more example of a switch. In terms of network monitoring, we have one switch in our demo. I would like to showcase like in a switch, we are able to pull all the detail or we are able to monitor all this detail using SNMP. You, uh, you can see all of the switch related details just like the IP address, the system OID, but it could be system description. This is the Cisco proprietary switch, the C2960. I can see the CPU of my switch is right now going in 88%. This could be the <coughs> warning for me. You can also see the memory and the packet loss is okay right now. And you can also identify the RTP. So in terms of network, the latency does matter the most. You are able to identify like how much latency from motor data server the switch is getting. Also, you are seeing the alerts uh, on a real time. In this hour, we don't have any alert, but in the previous uh, year, previous hour, we were having like switch CPU utilization have been triggered two times. That was one with value 99 and 92. In the same way, you are able to also identify all of the interface detail of the switch. You are able to see like all of the up and down interfaces at the same time. Also, you are able to see all of the up interfaces and their in and out traffic usage. And you can also get the report out of it by clicking on the interface. It will directly take you it will drill down to the interface and give you all of the usage of it. Just like I am seeing one of the interface, which is GI0 trial, and I can see the last 24 hour of data of the interface. So this much data has been uh, so far this interface have processed. You can also set different kind of alert if the interface goes down or the interface utilization uh, gets on a higher scale, you can get an alert on that. On the top of that, this kind of reports can be easily downloaded in a PDF or you can also schedule this kind of reports onto your email. So whenever you come to the office, you will get to know like what happened last night. You can you can also export as a PDF and Excel in both the format. In the same way, we monitor all of the components just like the server, any of the network device. We also monitor all the databases. We can also monitor all of the applications. So I would like to just show you one more thing, which is uh, Mota Data Apps. So I would like to tell you that Mota Data, it is totally a plugin driven architecture. where you can just go ahead and install a plugin and to start monitoring that 
application or it could be any of your component of the network. So here when you install Mota Data, with Mota Data you are getting around 40 apps out of the box and apart from this we have more than 100 apps available in the market and we can develop all the apps on the customer list. Now if you see I have all kind of apps already available which is a kind of a basic requirement in terms of monitoring. It could be any of the network device like the switch router firewall, load balancer, it could be any of the server like Windows and Linux, it could be any virtualization just like Hyper-V, Citrix or any VMware, KVM. Also there, there are a lot of web servers just like IIS, there are Apache, Tomcat, Nginx. And there are also databases like uh, Oracle, or it could be MSSQL, MySQL, then FourCRA. All of the database and everything can get monitored easily. So all of these plugins get installed. This is like just like if you want to do monitor something new in the future, all you need to do is just install the app and it will start monitoring. So I guess this was all about the monitoring. Now I'm going to navigate to another feature which is uh, flow monitoring. So Mota Data does the whole flow monitoring. Flow monitoring is basically traffic analysis. Flow and any of the network device, uh, it can send us the flow data and all the flow data will have, will have all the information related to the source and destination IP and that traffic. So it, it becomes easy to do the traffic analysis and find out like how much bandwidth is getting consumed on which level. For example, I would like to say like Cisco have the netting protocols just like NetFlow version 5 and 9. Other devices they also support AppsFlow, JFlow, IPFix flow. We have all the plugins already available. So I'm having currently AppsFlow from one of my 40 k device. So I'm going to see, uh, I'm going to showcase one of the visualization which is the uh, application to application visualization that you will be able to understand what kind of traffic is going in and out from your network. So as you can see there are a lot of kind of traffic and mostly the HTTP and HTTPS is being used. If you want to see what kind of HTTP and HTTPS traffic is going in the network you can easily click on it and it will drill down to the raw level data of a flow. So from here, it is become easy to identify what is, who is consuming the most bandwidth on HTTPS. So you have the top 10 sources and top 10 destinations and IP addresses. You can also have a trend of HTTPS data processing through the firewall in the same way you can also identify which all protocols are being used, mostly like TCP and the UDP. I have TCP most in my network. Also, you find the top 10 conversation from which IP to IP traffic, like how much it goes, like 580 MB, I can see right now. These are all top 10 conversations. Apart from that, you can also see the raw level data. So, flow does provide all the details, just like source IP, destination IP, the source protocol, destination protocol, it could be the source port, destination port, and the volume has been consumed so far. So all of this becomes so easy on the fingertips by drill down in a flow analysis. Also, I would like to show you that apart from identifying application to application traffic, you can also find out all of the top 10 details, just like top 10 source by the traffic, top 10 destinations by the traffic, you can also find a top 10 application by the traffic. All of this kind of details can be easily extracted from motor data. This kind of visualizations provide you easy view on your application and on your HTTP and HTTPS traffic. This works in the same way with any of the network devices who support NetFlow, XFlow, JFlow, or any of the two. This is one more example of the visualization I would like to showcase is the Google Map API. Like we can we can draw the data on Google Map as well by help of uh, Google Map API. 
So where in flow we are receiving this kind of data where the traffic is going in which which uh, longitude and latitude. So on the on with the help of that we are able to showcase everything on a Google Map as well. How many request how much requests we are getting or we are serving all over the world. Okay, so from now like I would like to move on to the next topic. Uh, one more thing in a flow I would like to say is one of our uh, customers they were facing a constant problem in the bandwidth. Just like uh, they find unusual spikes in the network in uh, in the uh, working hours. So they couldn't able to find out like who's talking about the bandwidth and making the network slow. So at that time, Mota Data was able to pinpoint that one of the Oracle database was transferring the huge amount of data to the other side. Uh, for that reason, the bandwidth was being consumed so far. So they are able to, uh, you know, manage that kind of problems of the bandwidth usage. Now I would like to move forward to the log management. We'll give you a brief idea on the log management as well and how this is happening in Mota Data. So now, why this data analysis is needed? Because many of the problem, many of the problem in your network, they have hidden solution in this data. So if you do the log analysis and flow analysis, you will uh, able to identify a lot of problems. Just like one of the Apache log. I would like to give an example on that. Like we are able to find out the detail from the Apache web server, how many sources are getting port cross error throughout the day. So if you see on the IP, all of the IP address, how many times they have received port cross error on the Apache web server. These are all the IP address and top the top URLs are getting four zero four error on Apache. Mota data can seamlessly draw this kind of visualizations where you the you know understanding of the data becomes more easier. Another thing that Apache also provides this kind of detail with the longitude and latitude, so we can also draw the same data over the Google Map where it can showcase how many number of requests which is getting put across in all of the countries and all of the cities. As you can see, apart from that, like we have a 14H firewall in our network where we are we used to check all the logs and have a lot of alerts on this kind of logs where it provides all the details. I just wanted to see which all users have access VPN today. I can see that two users have access the VPN from which remote IP address and have consumed how much of bandwidth on over the VPN. Also, if you want to see about uh, all the logs related uh, security authentication, you will be able to identify all the success and fail logins. So you can directly get alerted on it, like which all users are getting failed. If I want to see the failed login, it is so easy to drill down. I can just click on the drill down button and it will take me to the row log. I can see there were, there were one user have done the failed login, the reason was password was invalid. So this kind of loss and can be easily identified and point out where it becomes a security threat as well into your network. Apart from this, we have so many log patterns that we understand out of the box. There are Apache, there are Cisco, the Syslog, any of the network device can forward this kind of log. So we can easily identify the security threats out of it, give you the reason why the system got failed, and it can help you to improve the performance of any of your system. Apart from this monitoring and analyzing the data, we have very good function with the alert stream. I would like to showcase all uh, the alert stream right now. Where right. alert stream can showcase all the alerts which is which are being triggered right now into your infrastructure, and when this was first seen at what time, and when this happened, like this has happened four minutes ago only. 
So this has this is very useful in a lot of knock and a lot of our customer why they love this. It is because if multiple people are looking at to the looking into the NMAP on the same infrastructure, they can communicate on each and every alert. For an example, if I am the person who is taking care of this this IO bottleneck on my Windows server, so I can just leave a comment. Just like I'm I'm working on it right now. When I got the fish, uh, when I find out the problem and when I uh, fix the problem, I can annually clear this alert and I can claim it also. These are all different type of view of the alerts. You can also filter this kind of alerts by the source host. You can also do the tagging on the servers or on the alerts. You can find out by the CDRE. If you just want to see putting the CDRE, it's like only it's critical. You can also do that. Apart from this monitoring and log and flow alert, we can also draw the topology. Whereas in, I would like to showcase the topology that we have right now in our network. So this topology is also providing a entire view of your network by the color coding. If you see something in a right color, so something critical is going into the server or it could be the router firewall or switches. So if you want to see what is going critical right now, you can just easily click on it. You will be navigated to all of the group of servers which is in the group and on the top of that you will be able to identify only these two servers are having critical alerts and others are good in a good state right now. So if you want to understand what are the critical alerts, you can easily click on it and you can find out all the alerts. Also, you can just click on the alert and find out this kind of different visualizations since how long this alert is being triggered, when the CDRT got changed or how many how many warning major and critical alert on the same KPI has been generated so far. Also, we have a good home screen. These are some of the default dashboard we can say it comes with motor data where it will provide you like 360 degree or eagle eye view of your complete infrastructure uh, then I can see there are total 37 monitors I have added under monitoring all are up and running right now I can see all of the infrastructure health right now which is like showing one unreachable I can click on it I can find out something unreachable in my firewall I can click on the critical it will list down all the servers who are in critical state right now. Also, you can find out some core metrics like the CPU, the memory, and disk. By understanding all this kind of performance metrics, you can also do the capacity planning on the disk or if you want to upgrade your server with the CPUs, you can also do that. Also, in the log, we have the search functionality where you are able to search the raw data. For an example, I can query like from last 15 minutes, if I'm getting any kind of logs, it will directly list down here. I can see the raw level data here as well. And if I wanted to search something just like this particular username, I can just copy and paste it and I can search it. Now it will list down all the logs which have this kind of context. So searching becomes more easier and you can play around all of, all of the infrastructure logs. So this was all about Mota Data where if you have any questions you can ask. So please feel free to ask uh, all of your questions uh, through the chat box window, which is on the right hand side of Google Webinar panel.
Okay, so I see one question. Uh, it's related to our pricing. So our pricing model uh, is based on, for NMS, it's based on the number of devices that are there in your network. And uh, for log into management, it depends on the amount of log data, the GB per week that has to be processed. So it's based on that. Our licenses are of two types, that is annual and perpetual. Okay, now I can see one more question that is coming in, like how you can install, how can you install motor data? Right, so it becomes so easier to install motor data. The links are available on our website where we very we are providing a complete ISO which can be imported in any bad metal or any virtualization or any any of the server. And the ISO contains all the dependency and all of the packages. Also the installation guide is available on our website. You can just follow this and it is very easy to install. Okay, so I think that would be all. Uh, we are done with uh, all the questions. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask us. You can reach us through info at the rate motadata.com. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for again taking the time out for this webinar. We hope this session was informational for you. So, thank you everyone. Uh, have a very good evening.